Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video by me. That's right. Uh, yes, today I'm going to be showing you my room. Why? Why, you may ask. Because, uh, <laughs> well, the honest answer, the reason I'm making this video is because my computer's broken and I needed to tell you all so that you would know why there are no videos coming out, or there will be no videos coming out over the next couple of days. I've got the orange light on, so that's good. <laughs> but aside from that, it doesn't turn on or do anything at all. And uh, that's that's not so good. It basically means I can't render any videos. I cannot even release videos. Well, I can release them. There's a few unlisted in a playlist uh, for Saturday Smackdown. Gaia versus Musket Jr., which some of you may have not seen. It's, they've, uh, they've got very low views. I'll be releasing them over the next couple of days, because I can, but I won't be able to release the Azamk versus um, Mito games from the most recent Smackdown that Zuta and I did. So... Yeah, uh, now that I've told you that, you can go if you want to, but uh, if you are uh, if you want to stay for the room tour, you're very welcome to do so. So, wow, the lighting here is pretty sexy. Yeah, it's pretty uh, dark, like... Ooh. The window. I will show you my view. There it is. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a guy down there. What's that guy doing? What's he doing? Is he looking at me? Shit. Better not record him. That'd be a bit weird. <laughs> you may have noticed the laundry. Why am I showing you my error with all my clothes on it? I do not know, but uh, I do know that I refuse, on principle, to pay for the tumble dryer. I hope it's called the same thing in the US. Essentially the, the big whirly thing that blows hot air and it dries all your clothes and it's really expensive. And I refuse, on principle, to pay for that because I can dry my clothes in the room. And uh, yes, the problem with that is you may have seen, I don't know if you saw it actually, but the windows do get rather wet. But um, all you have to do is open the windows, that's no problem. I'm not going to do that now, though, because there's two people down there, you may see. And I uh, don't know if you saw, I don't want to show it too long, just in case they're like, why is that guy recording me? But uh, yeah, they're, they're down there smoking, so I don't want them to hear me recording. That'd be a bit, uh, I don't know. Anyway, you just open the windows whilst you're not here. But in the bathroom, that makes the room kind of damp anyway, because uh, there's, there's me. Kind of makes the room damp anyway, because of the, uh, you know, the shower, lots of steam comes out of the room. So you just open the window, no problem. I will show you my razor. This is a problem I have. Um, one of them needs to be chucked out, but I don't have the stick that goes with them. So <laughs> when I shave, I have to use just this, just this on its own. It's really awkward. Uh, but I am doing Movember. Haven't got very far into it. I have upper lip hair at the moment, which I don't want, but uh, I can't shave it off anyway. Oh, there's a cat down there. It's my little cat. We call him... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like cats, though. No, it's not a real cat. It's uh, we're not allowed pets at uni. The reason, actually, it's by the door is um, because uh, they we're having these November room checks. They they don't they check your room like twice a year or something just to make sure you're not like I don't know laundering drugs or growing like a little mini weed factory in the university accommodation. I don't think they'd like that. So they just you know they don't check any drawers or wardrobe, so it seems a bit flawed, and I'm, I'm glad they don't, because it'd be a bit invasive, right? Not that I have anything to hide, the only thing in my wardrobe is clothes and mess. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, you, I can understand why they would do that. Um, but I want to keep the cat by the door, so if they do come in, they're not like, oh, we need to get pest control in here and get this guy's cat out, because you're not allowed pets under any circumstances, and I want them to see it's not a real cat, that's why it's by the door. The door is, of course, there, so there is that. So, uh, here we come to the main feature of the video, me unboxing something that I recently bought from Amazon.co.uk. That's right, co.uk, you Americans. Don't know why that's, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's begin this with my headset. This is my headset, which you may have seen me use on stream. There's a little wire hanging out because it's kind of broken. And you may know from stream that, um, if you see my live streams, that is from Twitch, that I indeed chew, I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, I chew this. And it's now sort of like gotten to the point where one of the ear cups is like fuzzy. Sometimes it works, and if you move the wire, it stops working, and it's really not so good. So I bought a new headset. Um, let's open it. Are you ready? I can't really do this. I'm gonna pause the video, and uh, we'll come back when it's done. All right, all right, we're done. Okay, here we go. Dun dun dun! The Turtle Beach PX21 for PS3, Xbox, PC, and Mac. It's uh, it's probably the best headset I've bought. This this is the second one I've bought in my life because I loved the old one so much more. Uh, my other one I did have before was a blue, not red, and uh, the ear 
The foam around the ear cups does look slightly different, but I'm going to assume it is the same, and it's going to be just as comfy as it was before. But essentially, um, the reason I, you know, I bought the PX21, I bit through it like the same way I just destroyed this my my current headset. So I'm probably going to have to buy some of that spray that makes stuff like that you spray on like kids' nails to stop them sucking their thumbs. I'm going to spray it all over the wire so I don't eat it. Oh my god, I'm so, like, the amount of money I've spent on headsets because I eat the wire. And earphones as well, like, jeez, this habit. But, uh, yeah, this this uh, this is not a bad headset. It's comfy, it's really, really good sound quality. It's not, it's not like, sound tight because I don't like that. I actually don't like that. Um, I like to be able to hear what I'm saying, especially since I record a lot. And uh, I'd never really had an issue with noise pollution from outside. Uh, you just turn your music up, right? But yeah, this is the PX22, which is actually the upgrade from the PX21, but I actually think, I genuinely think, the PX21 is a better set. It's it's cheaper. Oh my god. It's, uh, it's, it's more comfortable. The foam on the blue one I had before was so much more comfortable than this. I assume this will be the same comfortableness. And uh, the sound quality is exactly the same. I can't confirm that because I haven't tested it, but judging from when I first stop using my old one of this to starting using this. I, there was no difference in the sound quality, none. The microphone though, on this one, when I had it before, was so much better. I used to record all of my videos on it. And then I switched to this microphone. And this was not as good, and people noticed it in the videos. And uh, you can still, if you watch my old content and then watch some of my medium old content, because my most recent content I used the Blue Yeti, which, uh, you know, actually it was this microphone here that prompted me into buying a professional studio quality microphone. Uh, that's, um, that cost, uh, you know, I bought that with the YouTube money, like, when I first ever got my pay, my first ever paycheck from YouTube, which wasn't that much, that's what I bought with it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. But that does conclude the video. I'd recommend it to anyone at the PX21. There's not really a lot else to show you. 